If your output format is PDF, you can include multi-page TIFF or JPEG files in imaging jobs. To include these files, on the Exclusions page, select multiple TIFF or JPEG pages. If PDF annotations are enabled for the case, you are alerted to PDF files that are submitted. To image PDF files, on the Exclusions page, select the PDF file type checkbox. If PDF annotations are enabled, the link reflects the number of documents that have the PDF file extension in the Pages table. If PDF annotations are not enabled, the link does not appear, and PDF files are submitted unless they are excluded by another reason. The list of spreadsheet file types now includes the following file extensions, .numbers and .123. What's new for administrators? You can archive selected files directly from the list using a new option on the Tools menu named Archive Files. The option appears when an archive repository is assigned to the case. The Archive Files dialog box warns that files will not be viewable once archived, though the records will remain. The count of items to archive appears. If any items were already archived, that also appears. The items are added to a zip file that is named using the current date and time. You can add a comment which will appear on the file repositories page for the archive repository. After you click OK, a separate browser window opens to show the progress of the archive operation. A new system field, named Archive File Name, is updated with the name of the archive zip file. You can reference this system field to determine which archive to restore. The new archive appears on the File Repositories page for the Archive Repository. On the Review Setup Phases page, the icons that indicate the hierarchy of phases and subphases are updated. During import, if no field is mapped to the meta file extension loaded case field, it is populated with the file extension of the native files that were imported. On the existing documents page, under Parties Data, the options for updating and appending parties data are renamed. For flat file imports, if one of these two options is selected, only mapped people fields are updated, rather than all people fields. The Parties Data heading also includes a tooltip that reads, For a ringtail load file import, all people fields are considered to be mapped. On the Imports page, the Job ID column is named RPF Job ID, and a new column named Import ID contains the import ID. A new column named Documents contains the number of documents affected by the import at the time of the load. The word search appears in this column for import jobs that were created in previous versions. If you click the link, Ringtail runs a search for the job ID. During ingestions, some items, such as calendar appointments, are not assigned a value for loaded file extension. If no value exists in meta file extension loaded, it is populated with the file extension of the file that was ingested. On the Portal File Repositories page, you can create an external file repository such as cloud storage. Currently, Amazon S3 is available. To add an external file repository, select External and Amazon S3. Enter a name, AWS region, SW bucket, root prefix, access key, and secret key. You can select external file repositories on the Properties page for a case, or when you add, clone, or connect to a case. You cannot select an external file repository as the image, index file, file transfer, 
or archive file repository for a case. Within a case, you can navigate to external file repositories that are configured for the case. Files on the external file repository can be the source for the following actions. Move, copy, rename, compress, extract, and delete. You can select any file repository other than archive repositories as the destination. External file repositories can be destinations for move, copy, compress, and extract actions for files coming from Ringtail file repositories. At the portal, you can now copy case option settings from one case to other cases. Under Cases and Servers, click the name of the case you want to clone case options from. Click the Clone Options button on the Case Options page. On the Select Options page, select the options whose values you want to clone. On the Target Cases page, select the cases to apply the case option values to. Thank you for watching. See you next month.